Lene Monet here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so today we are at Taco Bell, and I'm going to be trying their new turf. Is it Trump? And I'm going to be trying their new truff fries. I'm excited because I really like this brand that they're using. When I tell y'all they hot sauce, is delectable. It's so good. So if you're interested, stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, can I get your truff, your loaded truff fries? You said if you wanted your truff fries, is that what it's called? You, you mean the loaded turf fries? Yes. It's called turf. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Could I also get your cherry bliss um freeze? We don't have that right now. We Got you. Let me get the um the mango. Regular mango? Yes. Anything else? Uh that's it. Your total is six six uh six thirty five, you can pull it out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank God it wasn't a dollar. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you you too. Y'all, now I know I said mango. What'd I say? Let's rewind the clip and see what I said because I know I said mango. <laughs> the, um, the mango. Yes. Okay, well just give me what you think I should have. That's what I should have said. Give me what you think I deserve. <laughs> Let me get my hand sanitizer, baby. There we go. There we go. That'll do it. Only a dab would do. Come on. Let me get you a close. All right, y'all. Let's get into these turf fries. Well, the smell is definitely potent. You hear me? We got some cheese. We got some tomato. That sauce you see right there is that turf hot sauce some side cream i see some steak right there how you doing okay and them good old fries let's get into it oh they gave me a fork yes thank you thank you Woo. all right one more close-up for the close-up you hear me y'all before i take a bite i know a lot of people have been asking me to do the ghost pepper burger from burger king i am going to do it it's just not released in my area yet so look for that video in probably like a day or two when it is released because i can't get it any other way but i have been seeing y'all comment ask me about it and i definitely want to let you know i'm on it okay i got my eyes on the prize okay your girl was in there like swim with you hear me <laughs> all right y'all look let's take our first bite of this i'm ready we gotta get some of that oh nacho cheese i miss that nacho cheese y'all it's nacho cheese on here too. Treat your friend like Dorito is nacho cheese. We need a piece of steak. Oh, I got a piece of steak. Oh, that's a good bite. That's a good bite. You see that? You see that? You see that? It got everything on it. Let's go. because they ain't say nothing about that if you're not in the spicy foods this ain't for you baby this is not for the week this is spicy spicy but it's so flavorful if y'all have ever had turf hot sauce y'all please get on top of it when i tell you they hot sauce is so good it's such a unique flavor it's such a unique flavor you gotta get into it oh my god what Mm-mm. Taco Bell fries already be busting, busting. But when you add that hot sauce right there, y'all see it? That bright orange color right there is the hot sauce. When you add that hot sauce to it? I knew it. I knew it. Baby, I feel safe. Ride with pride with these fries by my side. That's how I feel. Who I did was this. Then you got the nacho cheese, and y'all know how I feel about Taco Bell nacho cheese. They just gonna put it all up on there like that, like a good little combination platter like that. Mmm. Mmm. What? And you know what I like? It's not too salty. Cause let me tell you something. We don't want no more of that high blood pressure. Wow. The pressure is getting worse. Sending me up to the upper room without my consent. I didn't ask for that. And then that spice just jump out at you like, you thought I was feeling you? I don't know how to describe the turf hot sauce. Like, 
it's spicy but the flavor of it is so good you don't care you're not even worried about that who cares if it's getting hot in here then take off all your clothes because i am getting so hot i want to take my clothes off y'all that used to be my song for real and then my mother started singing it and in that moment i knew it was time for me to release that song release that song into the universe because i don't want to be involved if me and my mama singing the same music you hear me but back in the day that was my jam it was hers too Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and just well, I might as well finish it. We're almost we're almost at the finish line now. Ain't nothing left but crumbs. Don't nobody want that. I tell you what, Taco Bell, you might not keep it on the menu, but it's right on time. Y'all better go get you some. Cause you know tomorrow it's gonna be gone. So you might as well go ahead when when you see the video, go get it live. Watch this in live. Cause you never know discontinue right there didn't even get it give you a chance to get a little taste took it off the menu i'm telling you you gotta be on top of taco bell they do not play about ripping things off the menu and now that i'm eating this is very filling i'm not gonna hold you but i, I can't help but want a burger now i don't need taco bell trying to make burgers because i'm not gonna eat it from here unless y'all just really wanted me to then you know i'm gonna do whatever it is y'all want me to do for the people within my subconscious i would prefer them not make burgers but this is like I really wish I had like a an entree. And I'm saying this is more of an appetizer. You feel a starter. Where's the meal? Where is the main course? That's what I want. What y'all know about Shake Shack? That would have been so bomb. But you don't plan nothing for the rest of the day if you about to eat this and that burger from Shake Shack, baby, because your day is already accounted for after you digest all of this. Okay, you can't do nothing else. That's it. Clear your schedule. Y'all know this was good if I finished the whole thing now. You you knew. Because that's what I knew. So I know that you knew. Now that we done got that out of the way, a little appetizer. You know, I'm not mad at this. It's like a little tart. You know how cherries be a little tart? It's sweet, but it's like, it's like a sour patch. First, they're sour. Then they're sweet. It's really good. Add you about three shots. And there you go. Y'all gotta get your hands on them fries. Fries is hitting. On a scale from one to five, one band, I don't like that. Five band, you know, I think I gotta like that. I feel like them fries is definitely a four. That sauce they put on there, baby, one thing it's gonna do is take it up a notch. Now I'm about to head out. But before I do, let me tell you this. Y'all be careful sticking around with people who you believe are loyal to you based on how long you've actually known them. Because some people are not loyal to you, they're loyal to the need of you. And once the need is gone, so is the loyalty. So keep that in mind. And this is why I say so often, evaluate and categorize the people that's in your life. Because one thing you want to do is treat people accordingly. You don't want to overextend yourself unless that's just the type of person you are, but nobody deserves to be taken advantage of. And if it just so happened to be extremely one dimensional, or heavier on your side because you're carrying the weight of whatever that relationship is, then you need to make the proper adjustments. It is very true that people will only do what you allow. If you stop allowing certain situations and you realize that that person no longer has time for you or wants to be around you, that's a clear indication that that relationship is solely based on what you can do for them and not what they can do for you or where you guys can collaborate and do for each other. Only you know how you've been overextending yourself to someone and only you you know the best way to pull back from that and don't be afraid to ask for what you need from people don't be afraid to have conversations some of the best relationships that i've ever had in life have come from having difficult conversations it was the ones where i decided not to have the difficult conversations where we fizzled out and realized that 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 relationship probably was superficial and that it really wasn't anything beneficial because we weren't having the proper dialogue to understand one another so don't be afraid to have difficult conversations and say what you require and need out of relationships, all relationships. This is not secluded to one type of relationship. This is across the board. So all I'm saying is pay attention and move accordingly. You hear me? Real G's move in silence like lasagna. Lil Wayne said it best. All right, y'all. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Peace.